Hey everybody, it's Don the AS Lifter. Just wanted to come at you today and give you an update of where I am uh, with my training and then also talk about a story or, or kind of a lesson that I was taught or told by a friend of mine, one of my workout partners. We've got a guy I work out with, his name's John Hill. Uh, he's also known as CHF, the, the CHF bodybuilder, which is congestive heart failure. John has congestive heart failure, has a uh, pacemaker defibrillator in his chest, and he uh, is one of, you know, one of the guys that works out with us in the morning. So, again, he's got an interesting story. Hopefully, I hope to do a video with him as well later on. But he told me a story about uh, lions and the way the lions hunt. And I thought about it in the moral of the story, and it's pretty impressive because, you know, I just didn't really... You know, it was kind of, I guess, sit in the back of my mind and how this pertains to us and how we deal with, you know, ankylosing spondylitis, AS, or, you know, any of the chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases. Well, what he talked about was is how the lions would come up and when they hunt, you know, the old lion, the one that hadn't had any teeth, you know, kind of frail, you know, real, uh, really just frail, not even to hunt anymore. He comes up and he, he's the center. So the gazelles or the animals that they're hunting would be, you know, bedded down or watering or grazing or whatever. He would come up in the middle and he would roar. Just the fear, that roar, that gut feeling yell. And the animals would dart and run away from the roar. And when they would run, they would run left, right, anywhere but to the roar. And when they would run out, the younger lions, the ones that were able to hunt, would be on the outside to attack and kill the prey. And the moral of the story is, it's like AS. When you the roar, when the disease is in your face roaring at you, the natural fear thing for us to do is run, avoid it, do everything else but it. But the reality is if we run directly at it and fight it head on, we could get away. All those animals, the escape was running at the roar. That's the lion that couldn't do anything. He was unable to kill him. He was unable to hunt him. The animals ran from it. And in, in, in their running, they ended up in a worse situation. And that pertains to us. We have this disease. We have this condition. We can either embrace it, understand it, and fight it head on. And we have a better chance of beating it or having a successful life. Or you can run from it. Let the fear set in, let the, you know, the, the, the negativity, and you run from the disease. When you're running from the disease or running from your problems or your conditions, condition, you're actually running into the trap. And it was very interesting because I, I, I think about this and it, it, there's a lot of truth to this. Is if you run from the disease, you're running into the trap. So I'd like for uh, all the AS warriors out there and all the other people out there that follow along or listening to, you know, let that sink in and maybe think about it. It's a, it's a deep, you know, it's a pretty deep little story he told me. And there's a lot of uh, a lot of truth to that. Think about how many times you run to the roar and how successful you are when you actually face your fears and run to it and fight it. Um, so that, that's, you know, that's kind of the story he told, uh, kind of the, uh, you know, the, the, the little lesson I learned out of it. Uh, on the other side of it, an update with me. I'm nine weeks out from my competition. I've changed my diet. I've changed uh, a little bit of a thing. I'm still lifting heavy from time to time. I just want to keep you know that going because I, I, I plan on doing powerlifting too still. I'm not just uh, abandoning it uh, by any means. But I have learned that by changing my diet and changing the way I do things, I have a lot less uh, joint problems, stress on my fatigue uh, stress on my muscles, stress on my joints. I don't have any inflammation issues right now. Uh, I'm actually sleeping a lot better, which is, uh, you know, helping with that fatigue side. So I'm actually pretty, pretty impressed that, you know, maybe there is something to this diet or the diet side. And, and in the diet, it's real similar to, with the exception of, you know, well, I guess it's real similar to low starch, the low starch, low carb uh, diet that, you know, they, they talk about for autoimmune diseases, inflammation, AS, and, and other things. Because Right now, I think I'm down to total about a cup and a half of rice a day. Uh, I'm still up to six meals a day. Actually, yeah, six meals a day. I get a cup of oatmeal in the morning and a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein. Uh, I'm eating you know, anywhere from 10 ounces of fish, 8 ounces of chicken, or 8 ounces of steak per meal. 
Uh, so it, it, there's a lot of protein involved, but there's a lot less of the carbohydrates, a lot less of the starches are, are, are pretty much cut out. You know, I'm not saying that that's everything. You know, keep in mind, you know, I am on Humira. I am the biological, and I do believe the biological helps. I'm also doing ac exercise. So I think maybe there's something there with the disease at least, at least uh, being successful to combat it or fight it. You know, not only staying mentally positive, which you need to, but also understanding that, you know, the disease, uh, the, you know, diet can help, you know, exercise helps. These are two proven things, and then the medicine itself helps. So there's a, uh, it's beautiful because uh, I'm actually in kind of a little bit, I guess, a bliss state. I don't really, I haven't really had much, many issues here lately, uh, with, since, especially since I started the diet. I don't even get the hip pain anymore which is uh, kind of surprising to me because, you know, every night I would still even have, even when I go to sleep, I'd still have the hip and lower back pain no matter what. Uh, but that really, here lately, I really haven't had much discomfort with that. So uh, maybe there's something to this. Uh, just want to kind of update everybody and let everybody know how I'm doing. You know, please follow me along. Like I said, I'm nine weeks out from my uh, competition, uh, which is NPC uh, IBF Pro. <coughs> there's also a meet coming up, a powerlifting meet coming up in May. That I'm going to do. It's going to be in Shreveport, Louisiana, um, and it's going to be sponsored by MPC. And from what I understand is, uh, they're actually going to do a video interview with me, you know, talking about AS and talking about you know the struggles that we fight. So I look forward to that and kind of see where that goes. I don't know how how big or how projected out it is, but avocation in any level is avocation. Uh, so if you'd like to follow me, keep following me. Click that subscribe button. You know, stay, stay in tuned. Uh, again, I'm Don, the AS Lifter on YouTube. I've got a uh, Facebook page, which is Don Markham, a uh, fitness journey with ankylosing spondylitis. And I'm on Instagram as Texas Markham. Uh, again, thank everybody for following me. Click that subscribe button, share, keep advocating, keep fighting, and warriors push on. Thank you.